All right, welcome back to the Knights of the Pork Republic. Tonight we've got our second game. Uh, we've got Jared H versus Michael B. This is another, this is a league game. So our local, well, sort of local league. Uh, we've got Jared with Asajj. Asajj has Heightened Perception, Contraband Cybernetics, and Shadowcaster. We got Han Solo with Trickshot, Triple Zero, Contraband Cybernetics, and Lando's Millennium Falcon. And we have Dengar with Contraband Cybernetics, Punishing One, and R5TK. So, it's a really interesting list. Um, Jared, I played against Jared with it oh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so Asajj with the heightened perception can be really frustrating and annoying and then just Han Solo being able to uh, more consistently than you think get the, the trick shot and his ability and Lando's ability off so it should be fairly interesting to see how this goes and Dengar is just Dengar uh, at 60 points he's pretty good value an I6 that can potentially get two shots he also stops people from shooting at him so that's a really interesting mechanic that you know some people won't shoot unless they know that they won't get shot back and on the other side we have michael with a, an interesting rebel uh yeah rebel list so we've got a sedge to ketu um with cluster missiles and perceptive co-pilot so um his ability is basically when you uh, when a ship defends or performs an attack, it may spend your focus token as if that ship has them. Uh, Kyle in the Hawk with Perceptive Copilot and the title. So at the start of engagement phase, Kyle can transfer one of your focus tokens to a friendly ship in your firing arc. So I think there's going to be lots of shenanigans with passing to a Sege and you know, everyone spending all of the the focus, just having a lot of fun. And then you see Garvin with, uh, say, basically after you spend a focus token, you may choose a friendly ship at one to three, and that ship will take or gains one focus token. And finally, Jake <coughs> with Crackshot, and everyone knows Jake's ability. But after you perform a boost or barrel roll action, you may, uh, at friendly ship at range zero to one, may perform a focus action. So there'll be some pretty interesting synergies going on there. Um, I can definitely see Jake doing a boost or barrel roll near a surge to give the focus. Um, and then Asajj taking the the target lock so you're going to be able to get quite a few uh double modded results in there or double modded shots i think we'll see michael set up more and i guess more of a block formation here and jared uh jared ships have the ability to be able to spread out a little bit more So we're just waiting for them to set up and then we'll start the time. I think, so from looking at the list, I think if Michael can uh, put in a lot of damage early on to to one of Jared's ships, he's probably got the, the advantage there. He probably doesn't want to, as soon as he starts losing one of his pieces, because there's all the, the workings together, he's going to probably really feel it more than if Jared loses a single piece. 
but I was uh, I was playing Jared's list the other day for my league game, and I messed it up quite badly. Forgot that um, I think I just forgot how to play a tabletop simulator, and I did a um, a sloop, thinking it was a right sloop, but it was a left sloop, and oh, and then realised that. Dengar only has a left sloop, so not my finest moment. Probably not the worst thing I've ever done in X Wing either. And with Jared's list, he he really needs the time on target. So Jared can't really afford to have any of his ships not firing each round. So uh, looking at the way they're set up, I would think Jared will definitely want to bring Michael through the rocks. Um, hoping to get, you know, the Asajj tractor beam. Also the Han trick shot. So I think they've started time there. And uh, Tim Tim Salinger from the game before said he would be keen to come on in a bit and help commentate, so he should jump on relatively soon. I'm guessing from both players the first couple of moves would be fairly conservative I don't think the the rebel one forward to victory is probably the way um, and actually looking at where Jared's ships are they may go relatively fast to, to get onto the flank quickly because those shadow casters and large base ships can just move Sorry, Andy, can you hear me, bud? Yeah, I just had to unmute you. Ah, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Have to Sweet. get you through that awkward phase, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just, I think I might need to boost your audio as well. You don't have to do anything other than talk. Yeah, cool. All right. You know what? It is super cool actually seeing a K wing back on the table. Yeah, it is. I miss I miss Miranda from one point. Huh? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone does. Yeah, but yeah, it's cool seeing a K wing, and then from the points change as well. It's really cool seeing like Jared style list as well. Been able to get all the like big base ships and not have them suck. So Yeah. I remember like years ago in like first ed, uh a CG uh was like pretty good actually. Um he used to run like two K wings, Miranda and a CG. I think with another warden. Oh yeah. And uh just lots of um what, just using the focuses so that Miranda could actually uh, use a CG's focus for the TLT. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, but it's good to see a K-Wing back on the board. Oh, TLT. I'm pretty sure nobody misses that. Yeah, true. But, yeah, it's a 
pretty. It's also, uh, it's also good to see Dengar on the board as well. Uh, oh yeah, and at sixty points, like it's pretty good. Like sixty you know points what? with the like, title. Just watching, uh, just watching my game, like Jag in the arc was forty nine, so another eleven just gets you Dengar. So yeah, yeah, I, I... Definitely, definitely won't take Jag. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. You you seem to forget the ability a couple of times, but it just uh well, I know this is the this is the focus this this game, but um, Jag's ability basically was worthless because I was uh, shooting first, so uh, yeah, and I was at PS three, so um, yeah, it was uh, it wasn't as great. So very close game though. Yeah, that was that was super fun. I try not to slow play, but I think I did. <laughs> yeah. No, it's always difficult sometimes. And there's, there was quite a few turns in that game that were just um, a clusterfuck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I was just like, I have no idea how you'd get out of it. So you did well. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm liking this scum list actually. Just having three fat ships on the board is pretty impressive. So, yeah, and you can do some pretty nasty things with it. So, like, uh, which may actually you may see it happen here. Um, having as... uh, having an initiative seven tractor beam shot, yes, is pretty legit. Yeah, um, and then Han should consistently get. Um, you know, three to four dice each shot. Yep. Um, especially if he's going through the rocks, he'll be able to pick up those like double trick shots, I guess. Um. So yeah, Han, yep. Han's ability then trick shot, and if they're stressed, then even worse for them. And Dango's just Dango. Although I don't play Scum a whole lot, but uh, or at all really. Um, yeah, that's this looks pretty pretty legit. I really like the combination between Asajj and and Han. Yeah, and I think Michael's list is really interesting as well. It's got lots of synergies um, with all the focus passing and. Um, I think it's uh, yeah, it should be fairly interesting to see. Although this is where this is where like FFG had always designed rebels to be was this focus synergistic force. Um, very similar to like the clones in Legion, where you can just share green tokens and stuff like that. Hmm. Uh, and I think uh. Recently, like, Gold Squadron were ranking the Rebel ships, you know, like, uh, C, B, A, and S or whatever. Yeah. And they didn't have... I don't think they ranked any of the Rebel ships as an S, but their comment was more that Rebel ships aren't about themselves, they're about how they contribute to the whole list. Yeah. Which, yep. yeah, is pretty much spot on. Yeah, that was sort of like my methodology in the first game. That was how I tried to design the list because I remember this was like when I first started playing like 2012, 2013, when I first started playing Rebels and I would have like two X-Wings, uh, Yarn, uh, sorry, Jan, um, Jan Oars. And, yeah, Yarn Oars. Um, yeah, Yarn Oars. <laughs> and, um, and Aaron Kraken. And try to get those five dice range one focus with target lock shots from an X Wing. Um, but then have something like a heightened perceptions with uh, swarm tactics. Mm. Things like that. So that was what I was trying to go for with like synchronized console. So it's really good to see like these double modded shots. Because um, it, 
I think the math is around like 87 plus percent of getting through at least three hits. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, unless they'll die like the last game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's to be expected. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's really interesting. Yeah, just the synergies and being able to get those double modded shots and uh, yeah, and I guess some of Jared's ships can do. Actually, no, only the Sarge really can kind of get like a soft double mod. Yeah. And maybe Han is the same if they give him a calculate instead of a. Taking the stress. Mm. I think it's probably with triple zero if you're taking a stress to give the the opponent a die. It's probably better to give Jared the calculate. I yeah, definitely. Think. Definitely. It's just uh Jared's list can do an enormous amount of damage in one turn, assuming like the all the stars align, you've got Han uh, with trick shot enabled and is uh, within range one of an obstacle and then has either a focus or contraband cybernetics mm. um, and try and get out that double modded shot. Um, that would be um, that would be brilliant with that one. Yeah, it can be. I, I reckon. I reckon he could at least do. I don't know. 11, 12 hits, something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, if his, if everything aligns right, he can roll six die at yep. dice at once. So, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the maximum anyone can roll. But... Is that actually in the rules, is it? Six yes. dice? Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. I feel like that's a carryover from first ed where yeah. I remember there was something that I think you could get to some stupid like 9 or 10 attack die with like yeah. Janors and some of the arcs and I think yeah. there was an ability that you could spend people's evades to add attack die and stuff so yeah so Michael is coming through the middle there, which is good for Jared. Mm -hmm. So it looks like Jared's got initiative. I think Michael just needs to try and, uh, it's, it's no easy feat because all of Jared's large base ships are so fast, um, that he just needs to try and pick on one kill one and mm. then and then move on to the next one um no oh, thanks for following us dire weasel yeah i think that's what has to happen is he's gotta not split fire and just try to get rid of one of the ships in two rounds of shooting yeah definitely definitely um, if you want to go balls to the wall try and um, I think once Asajj goes a lot of the, the punch from Jared's list goes as well um, yeah because Han is like yeah he can do a lot of output but it's based on just luck um, yeah and I think and Dengar can Dengar can do some damage, uh, yep. but... Just definitely not what he used to. So. No. Nowhere near as consistent. Yeah. Especially when, like, Glitter Stim was activated and it was all... It was, like, a permanent focus for the rest of the turn. And, um, yeah, that was... That was brutal. That was not a very fun uh, list to play against a few years ago, so... <laughs> Yeah, and Jared is actually, um, he played a lot of Dengar in 1.0, so he's yeah. he's got a lot of games with Dengar under his belt, but 
the jump master was also severely nerfed. Yeah. So it's not looking great for Jake at the moment. He's oh, got... Jake's, Jake's got this. He's an A wing. So <laughs> the I guess the interesting thing is that he's basically focused for every attack. Um, so he can focus from a Seji. I don't know. I never know how yeah. to say that name. Yeah, a Seji. Yeah, yeah. A Seji. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna be the cultured prick that corrects you on Star Wars pronunciation. A Seji. <laughs> or a Seji. Yeah, he can be French. <laughs> a Seji. So now is... we're turning more into a Hispanic now. Is Jared going to heighten perception? Or even use Asajj's ability. Now, I'm a bit trash at this game because I can't quite remember what Asajj's ability is. So, zero to two. So, you can spend a force. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Or remove a green token. Pretty sure. Um, I'll pull that up Um, so I'm saying the right thing. Uh, I think that's a bit of a waste because the... A wings already have large enough uh, blues already. Yeah. So I think he's heightening perception to try to get that tractor, I7 tractor off. Yeah. The reason why you'd want to stress is to get Han the extra die as well. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good one. All right, so hit crit and. Spends the lock for two oh, hits and a crit. Nice. Very good. See, I swear Jared's like rigged the dice, so when he rolls them, they're good. Oh, yeah. But that's okay. Oh, and then, yeah, he's yeah. safe, so you just spend one of. Yep. One of your friends. I think that was very lucky for him. So he didn't get that tractor. Yeah, well, I, I, that's a really good combo with a Sege or SG, <clears throat> especially with a three agility or four agility ship. Mm. Um, just to improve improve that um, efficiency of survival. Yeah. I don't think Dengar should go into Jake. I think he should go on to Esej. Yeah, yeah. Esej. Um, <clears throat> again, I think with Michael, um, you just need to go after Esej or Esej, um, and then the list more or less falls apart, I think. Yeah. Um, also. Because you just can't do the, that that focus bank like you can do it with Kyle um so yeah. it takes one yeah you can still do some strange things with Kyle and Jake but uh it's not as good yeah so one crit into Jake. Because I assume Jared's not going to spend the log. Oh, just gets oh. it as well. <laughs> well, I mean, you had PTSD the... from uh, having uh, playing three defenders and rolling that. Yeah. And just having focus evade and using all my mods for two hits. Oh. Jake. Ooh. Yeah, I mean. I don't think, I think going into Han, you've got a better shot. Yep. Well, doesn't matter. Uh, so I don't know who he's going into. Ah, oh, it was Han. Yep. Yeah, so two damage on Han. That was very sneaky. The sneaky damage. 
Ooh, and then do you shoot Dengar at this point? Range 3 doesn't have any mods. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just shoot Dengar. With SG, SG's yeah. got two focus. Oh no, I oh, mean yeah. Dengar's oh, shot okay. back has oh, no see. mods. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think this is the time, oh, it looks like he's opted not to shoot Dengar. I don't know, maybe that's why I'm not a good player, because I just make bad decisions. Um, no, it's probably smart they didn't go after Dengar. Yeah. Because yeah, that's potentially just free damage going on to SG. Yeah. And SG I think is just more of the, the queen piece. Just need to protect the queen. Yeah. The the only problem I see with Michael's positioning is that you've got Kyle and a SG that are threes and Jake is a four. Mm -hmm. So I don't know I don't think he's going to go for Dengar, but it's just I a matter of... I would definitely of... go after Dengar, actually. Um, yeah. That's, uh, that, that's, my, that's my calling. If, uh, for example, if yeah, I think SG should just do it, maybe a three, a three bank right, um, and then Jake goes around the middle, the middle tiny rock uh, to try and get either a crack shot or a side shot off at Dengar. Um, and then Kyle turns right two, and then just does a... Um, or oh, he doesn't have a turret, so maybe just a bank to the right. Mm. Um, and then Garvin, maybe a three bank to the right as well, and just go hammer on Dengar. And then once you get past Dengar, then you've got some some uh free air to to move around and get out of that tractor tractor threat yeah that's true because uh asajj is going to have a hard time coming in yeah han will come in fairly easily i would think but yeah maybe dengar is the right option there well i feel like um Dengar's the the weakest ship of all the three. Yeah. Um, and if you can get rid of that early, then he um, Jared's only got two ships. And Seju does have cluster missiles, which is one to two, so <clears throat> yeah, doesn't matter about her arc or his arc because it's like you know two seventy degrees pretty much. But I think Dengar still has the um, the scariness from 1.0 that people, I think, are afraid to go for Dengar. Yeah, true. Definitely true. Because they probably just, just have yeah, those... I, those just think, uh, I just think that they just have to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah. Um, Dengar is only going to get one modded shot off, assuming that he doesn't get blocked. Uh, and if he does get blocked, then that would be just two unmodded shots. Mm. And um, I would I would rather take that risk uh, than going into a Sarge. So, well, that's interesting. Um... Yeah. So that that's that's okay from Kyle. So <laughs> So many focus, four focus on Kyle. Oh, on the rock. Mm. And like, this is, a, and this takes is a not even that bad. Um, this is not that, uh, well, this is actually really good for Michael because uh, you can still do some chip damage at Asajj. Yeah. Um, so when you come round or something like that, let's just say that you assume that they're going after Dengar. Um, it's just a little bit easier to to get rid of Asajj if you focus fire. Um, 
yeah. It's going to be interesting. I wonder, surely Jared would have picked that manoeuvre. Like, that it, that was going to happen, but... Mm. Maybe that was the only thing he could do to... See, but here's the problem is that I feel like Michael has set up to go towards Dengar, but... He hasn't really maximized, I don't believe. Uh, no. That's just my, that's just my gut feeling. Because um, he's got a, what, probably a range three from Garvin. He's yeah. probably got a range two, range three shot from Kyle. Yeah. Oh. But he's been able to capitalize on a on a bumped and on the Roy Dengar. But you still, so, yeah, it's probably range three. You've probably got a range one and a range two from Kyle. So, yeah. And then that looks like Han might get that juicy trick shot off. Yep. So, what well, Michael? Michael is only just not shooting with Jake, which is that's an acceptable loss, I think. But yeah. instead, he's got a fully modded shot. Uh, sorry, uh, just a focus shot at a siege, uh, a siege to either a Dengar or a Sarge. Um, I, I think you go all in Dengar, even though yeah. Dengar's got that range one shot. Uh, well, he can't. Uh, he can't retaliate back because he's on the 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 rock. Oh, Dengar is on the rock. Yeah, he's bumped in on the rock. So, um, yeah, probably go after Dengar. The Sarge has uh, two force, so somewhat somewhat durable still. I completely missed the rock. So yeah, everything into Dengar at this moment. Yeah, you got Garv and you got Kyle. You got uh, SG, you got nine attack dice going into Dengar. So you should probably do at least four damage, I reckon, this turn. If you're not getting four in, I'd be quite a sad panda. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, doing it onto Jake. Take a stress. Because he obviously can't get rid of a green token, so. That's interesting. I think because uh, Han has triple zero as well. Yep. I don't know. I, I'm not as smart as Jared, so I didn't really and get the logic from just that. A, yeah, I don't either. I would have thought. I, I would have. I would have uh, either just not done the ability, or, um, or just go after a sedge and then strip one focus. So then, if a siege uh, uses his focus for attack, uh, Han can potentially. Go into a siege, yeah, uh, and then maximize damage because what he'll be throwing five, five attack dice, no four, four attack yeah. dice. Oh, two crits uh, nice. into into Jake and spending that lock. Mm -hmm. So this is Han into Jake, yeah. Yeah. Oh, three okay. crits, nice. Oh Very nice. boy, Here that we go. could be a hurting. Uh, Jake. And he's fine. He'll just yeah. spend a focus from his friends. Well done for to Michael actually thinking up this combo or even getting it from the internet, whatever. But just playing it is it's it's quite good, actually. Yeah, I I played something very similar in the Welterweight League game that we did probably a couple of months ago now. Um, and it's just, yeah, a fun little synergy. Mm. 
Now, so, just jumping the gun a bit, like I, I feel like Jared is also in a good position next turn because Dengar can do a two left sloop, which I think is white still. Yeah. Ooh. So he'll be basically um, and then in line. Garvin will give that focus to a Sej. And that's pretty cool. So Dengar takes one. Yeah, and it's really interesting that um, I'm pretty sure Garvin can spend Asage's focus and then give it back yeah. to Asage. Yeah. Like, it's just a, a interesting, legit. stupid combo, but yeah. Yeah. So the Hawk range two. Yeah, and one. So two. Ooh. Oh, Maddie's out. This is currently one damage on Dengar. Uh, yeah, he's done one damage, but one damage, I guess, from the rock before as well. Yeah. So range one, three dice, three hits. So maybe I was being a bit over ambitious saying uh, four damage, but we'll see. Oh, there you go. Uh, five damage. Nice. I'll shut my mouth. I'll so. just go home. <laughs> you are home. True. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. All right. So basically got half damage on Dengar. Yep. Half uh, damage. I took the wrong. Oops. Um, my bad. Uh, Dengar has that, and two. Yeah. So yeah, half half points on uh, Dengar. So thirty points. Thirty points. Dengar for sixty, just with cybernetic and title. That that's pretty good. Yeah, real good. Like I would. If I was playing this list, not saying that I would play Scum, but if I did, um, I would almost take uh, instead of Dengar, Fen Rao, and have have that threat. But it depends on how comfortable you're fi um, flying with a soon to fell like Ace, so which is very unforgiving. Oh yeah, extremely. But I can imagine like having. Uh, Fen Rao just in the just being protected by Han and Asajj mm. um, and then you just got this massive FU force yeah Fen Rao is such a high risk high reward kind of mm. shit yeah so I think Jared's probably got the better turn here you know, uh, Asajj, I think you were saying, we'll just K turn. And Denga, oh, you might actually bump with if both do a turn around maneuver. To be honest, I think if Michael's willing to give up three attack dice with Garvin, he could block both uh, Asajj, uh, Asajj's K turn. And Dengar's S loop. Um, yeah, with just a one four or one bank, maybe. Probably a one bank, and then follow it up next turn with a four K. Yeah. Um. But then, yeah, that is giving up three attack dice, so potentially four. But if um, you if you can block, if he's doing both of them, and you can block both of them, that's yes. also making Jared give up uh, what that six attack die. Good. Six attack dice, yeah. So I think that's um, probably a better trade-off. Yep. Um, for some reason, my my inkling is to slam with the siege to get round, assuming that you want to block uh, Asajj and Dengar this turn. Um, I don't feel like you can block and then do damage effectively 
on Michael's end in this turn. No. So like just I feel like just disrupting the movement this turn and then getting in a really good strike in next turn would probably be be better. So yeah. Um Jake's in a really bad position. Um Jake has to what four straight? Four, yeah. Uh three won't clear it. Oh three would clear it. Um just barely, I think. Um I think four would be safe, so he's our position. I feel like just four straight with Jake and then try and slam out there with a siege. Um Yeah, the I mean he's really a support ship though, so mm. the double focus may be more beneficial to survival. True. True. Um but then there is all the other shenanigans with Garvin and Kyle, so mm. could be safe. Yeah, Kyle, it's interesting. Uh, Kyle's in a bit of a weird spot. He could go... I would actually put Kyle... Uh, maybe one left bank and then Garvin either one straight or one right bank to just block off that entire mm. zone. Um, yeah, I think that would be a good choice because Han is going straight. He, he may even yeah. need to bank, uh, uh, what's that, bank right to be able to not hit that rock. Yeah. Oh. But then... Um, if you do that, you're basically going to be out of um, a Siege's 0 to 2 range for the focus. Yeah. So I think Siege might be better just slamming, like I said before. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, it's a bit tough with that one. Because I think uh, if a Siege does a two bank to the right and then a two turn slam, I think you would be right behind Dengar. So, or you can just go that that way, which is probably probably legit and okay. So, I think there maybe he is trying to get the um, yep. support. I'm not a fan of the split, splitting of the fire, though. Yeah. Well, Michael is ahead by 30 points. Um, and I suppose chipping damage, trying to get half on another ship, um, is good. Um, but even, like, in the first game, like the game that I was playing tonight, I just ran out of time. Just, oh, contraband. Yeah. That's right, we forgot that... Um, Jared moves before. Ah, Michael. okay. Fair enough. Yep. Well, that saved his bacon. Well, that definitely uh, rules out the uh, S-loop for Dengar. Yep. So, probably Dengar's... Oh. I'm one guessing... Forward. Yeah, one forward or bank but but then michael's in a total death trap now yeah in between four rocks and that's just painful so i think jared's just deciding on the action he wants to take looks like a lock yeah. The cybernetics, yep. And then what will see Garvin do here? Oh, Jake's uh -oh. on the rock. Uh 
That is that is very good for Michael if Jared's done a one forward with Dengar because that basically gets rid of um, uh, up to six attack dice, maybe eight uh, this turn mm. um, in trade for the A-Wing not shooting anyway, but possibly getting one shield damage. So... Um, yeah, it takes a shield damage. That, that, that is uh, that is actually quite a good, uh, quite a good move. If um, if Dengar's done the one forward, uh, the one bank blocks anyway. So yeah, but the one forward keeps him on the rock, I think. Um, mm. And then he can't shoot again. So yeah, that's that was actually a really good move from Michael. And did uh did Jake take a uh the damage? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, did. Yeah. One shield for negating eight attack dice is a good trade, so potentially. Let's see what Dengar did. Oh four K. Oh. Okay. Uh not not bad for Dengar. No, he's looking at where it lands. Yep. Yeah, not not great for Dengar, but not bad. Kyle was probably going to be in a bit of pain. Yeah, I think Han is just, yeah, doing a 2 for the... So you just. But where does uh, where does Han go uh, next turn? Yeah, the... uh, sloop maybe. Sloop right. That might just miss that rock. Oh yes, yep. And probably be in range one of the of the rock, maybe. Maybe. Probably range two. Yeah, probably range two. So I think, I reckon here you, you kept, uh, you kept, you Sarge's ability onto Kyle. Mm. Try to strip one of those focus. Um, Get rid of that focus bank. Oh. Yeah. And then triple zero. But I think if Michael's smart, he'll probably give Jared the calculate, not the... Not take the stress. Yeah. Because the really frustrating thing when uh, Asajj is behind you and you're stressed is that she can just come up and keep stressing you. Yeah. And yeah, it's it can be fairly frustrating. I think Kyle is basically dead. Yes. Because you've got, what, four, eight, and then possibly another four dice. Yeah. Hmm. He didn't. I guess that's, that's to stop the 4K. About, that, that was what I was thinking about before because Garvin can you know, 4K around or whatever. Mm. It just gives up the focus shenanigans, but um, gets three shot, uh, three attack dice back. So, um, yeah. So three hits, it looks like. Into Kyle, and you spend one of them. I think this is the the hardest thing about X Wing, right? So, like, w even with my suggestion with Michael, just trying to get outside the asteroid field, I think lots of players almost fall into this trap of giving up. Um, 
giving up her board position, but still wanting the attack dice uh, to try and damage the opponent. Yeah. Um, but then they fall into this like death zone, and they most likely just like, get blown away. Um, and this is where, like, where Jared's maneuverability is just it's just so fast, and he can just mm. insert in there and just like here you go, eat eleven to fifteen dice, depending on the scenario. So, yeah. So yeah, range one from Han. He did forget triple zero though. Mm. Oh, two crits. It's I good. was gonna spend that luck. Oh no, he didn't forget it. I just missed it. My bad. Um, so takes two crits. Sorry, was this at, uh, Kyle, was this at Kyle, mm. yeah, which Kyle's is, uh, or oh, that is probably not what he wants at that point. And see, I don't know. Um, I don't know if uh, Jared was deliberately doing it, but um, that putting uh, the Assage on the rock ended up being really good for him because mm. it probably trapped Michael into say, "Oh, okay, I'm just going to fight in this in this area uh, and try and deal as much damage." But then, Ouch. Jared's sort of so gone away with with it with the damage race now yeah he's just going rolling ridiculous <laughs> two hits and a crit and spent the force and yeah. and um kyle's dead and can't use heroic i guess the rebels haven't learned that yet yeah and that's initiative killed as well unfortunately yeah and that's that's four attack dice gone. I don't think that's a critical part of Michael's list. It's a an expensive part. Yep. Kyle is worth one point less than uh, Denga, but mm. it's just it, it just hurts because it was a um, it was a focus it was a focus four dice attack at at Han. Yeah. Um, and now he's only got a uh, what a three dice going through the rock, um, where Han gets what three, yeah, three, four attack dice or some uh, defense dice. So three, three hits and Han. Yeah, so oh, Han's good. ability gives him an extra one when it's obstructed. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, that was that was tasty. That was, that was karma back to Jared. Yep, I think. Yeah, so I think so far Michael's biggest problem has been the splitting of the fire. Yeah. And yeah, if he if he'd managed to keep Kyle alive for that one last turn and got that shot in, that would have been that would have been half points on Han. Yeah. Um. But then. Again, like you were saying before, it's just splitting fire. It's still Jared pumping up almost 10, 10 red dice at least a turn, mm. um, which is a, a good amount of firepower. So, Although Dengar's in a... Oh, Dengar can actually still sloop with contraband, so... <clears throat> Yeah, the jump master doesn't have a K turn, does it? Yeah, the four K. That's what 
Jared tried, four, okay. Okay, tried to do before. Yeah, well, that's well, that's good. Um, I don't know if the 4K would land you on the rock. No, no, it wouldn't. All right. Because uh, from 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 Dengar to the the furthest edge of the rock is probably speed two. Um, yeah. Speed three, speed four. So he's actually getting quite close to the edge of the map. I think he's probably maybe just a couple of centimeters off from the map. Maybe the sloop would be the the better option. The left sloop. The left sloop. Yeah. Then you're not uh, going well, as far. Well, a sarge moves first. Um, yeah. So probably the left sloop. Um, is definitely the better option. Um. Because then you're not so far out of the battle, and if uh, I guess yeah. Jake. Jake's probably going to hard turn in. That looks like the only move that may fit. Unless he turns away. I think... Uh, unfortunately, now, this is, the, this is the problem being trapped this way, um, is because of the time, the time left, and um, being down on points, you're basically forced into engaging in this part of the, 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 the space map. Um, yeah, you just don't have you just don't have the time to reposition and then come back and then fight because you'll still be down in points. Um, which is the probably the hardest thing to do with this game. Um, is what we've got 25, 25 minutes left. Yeah. And so, like, coming round and then coming back takes two turns. Sure, there won't be that much um, shooting, but um, you'll probably chew at least 10 minutes up and then he's got 15 minutes to not die and then kill a ship. It's unlikely. Yeah, so... Han Solo is still fairly cheap in this yep. list as well. So that was interesting. I expected to turn up behind Han and get those cluster missiles off. Yep. So it looks like he is trying to reposition there. So he's, yeah. So I think maybe he's slamming one turn too late. Um, but, you know, that's... And on the okay. self bump. And this is the hardest thing about the rebels like playing rebels is once you've broken formation, it's very, very hard um, to actually play independently because rebels do not play very well independently, I feel. Yeah, um, and like now all of the synergies the whole, the whole, that the whole, the whole trick is gone. The, yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, and now Jared can just easily um, just pick on one ship, probably probably Garvin, kill Garvin onto the next ship. Yeah, if Garvin can't get out of range because Asajj bumped into Dengar, oh, so yeah, that seems alright. So he just opted to keep the stress. Yeah, a good move, um, but um... could also ended up. It- could end up awful for him if um, Asajj had turned or managed to get around. So, yeah. Oh, and Hans has gone over the rock. Yeah, he doesn't care. And safe. So Han will get a three dice range three attack. Yep. Oh yeah, Dengar couldn't have. Oh, he could have slooped with contraband, but so I think maybe Jared just killed that and decided to get rid of the stress instead of double stressing yourself. So it looks like there's one attack from on. Yep. And I don't think any of Jared's tricks will work.
Yeah, so range three. One extra dive because he's stressed. And that's two hits and a focus. Looking at four. Four dice, right? Because he's stressed four. and then within range one of the obstacle? No, no, it has to be through the obstacle. No, no, but his, uh, his uh, ship ability, isn't it within range? No, that's... Uh, uh, range ship... one, he rolls an extra die? Uh, his ship ability is trick shot. Uh, no, no, I mean like his his uh, card ability. Yeah, yeah, it's just um, while you defend or perform die. a primary attack, if the attack is obstructed, roll one additional die. So it's just trick shot. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying that his his uh, Han Solo ability has that one, and he's shooting at a stress ship that should have added two more dice, so he should have rolled four. No, no, no. He's no? Two, two normal. The yes. Lando Falcon title adds yep. one for stress. His ship ability is exactly the same as trick shot. So the attack has to be obstructed oh, to get the okay. extra die. Right. Yeah. I think, it, I think it must have gotten changed the last time I played it. Because that would yeah. be brutal if you only had to be within range one. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm just demented and just was dreaming things up. But Garvin okay. in that did, I think, just lose all his shields. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not actually focusing on the dice rolls you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's... um. I still... Yeah, and Michael's still got at least a turn before he's back in action. And it might be yeah, two turns before there's any major shots. Yeah. Well, it will take two turns for Garvin to at least get a shot. Um, and Jake can get a shot <clears throat> this turn, but it's just going to be a two dice, whatever, who gives a crap. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, a siege. Yeah, sure. You can get another shot. Um, so 19, 18, 19 minutes left. Yeah. Probably three, probably three more turns of uh, combat, maybe four. Yeah. So Michael's just setting up for a. Uh, the next next turn having a hmm yeah and this is yeah i think unfortunate because they've he's gotten trapped he's gotten trapped in the in the asteroid field but now he's fully committing to dengar so now like jared could be sneaky and just run away with dengar um yeah and i was like oh okay you just basically wasted an action And uh, Asajj was just, you know, waiting. Man, I wish I thought this well when I was actually playing X-Wing. I feel like I actually play X-Wing better by watching it instead of actually playing it. Same. So. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like I'm absolutely trash when I'm playing. Oh, that just hit. Hmm... Yeah, I think it's it's easier to to watch someone play and um, understand what should happen than when you're in the moment. There's like the excitement of playing and the yeah, that's stress right. of playing, and um, yeah. So why did uh? Why did Jared not choose not to put Garvin on the rock there? Oh no, that was a barrel roll. It was a barrel roll, but the barrel roll was on the on the rock, but then he shifted it up. Yeah, because it was Garvin's action, so 
obviously you can't barrel roll on a rock so mm, oh okay sorry yeah. i was thinking randomly <laughs> tractor beam just, no i just hate tractor beam no tractor boom good good not yet actually we haven't seen the tractor really come into he play hasn't yet needed it. he's been rolling so well he just hasn't needed it uh, i mean when he killed oh that was at initiative four so it didn't really matter anyway mm. So, so this it, is a tasty this is a tasty shot at Jake through the rock. Um Yeah, that oh, that may just be in range. It looks like it'll be on the edge of range three. Yeah. Well that would be uh four dice and then if uh a Sarge can do the ability, get rid of the focus. No, it has to be in uh, arc. In arc, okay. Yeah. At zero to two as well. This game. <laughs> <laughs> At zero to two as well, because um, I reckon it's range three from Jake to Asajj. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. So he decided to boost to guarantee that shot. Yeah. Yeah, and there's the... Just there, Sloop. I think Jared's put himself into a really good position. It's sickening, but I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was rooting for Michael. I think, yeah, it, the, as the time ticks down, it's getting harder and harder for Michael to... To, to win and like when you think about it like um the european players the american players that's why they stall so much just to do that one alpha then run away and then win yeah yeah i mean it's that, a like it makes sense it makes sense why they usually stall so for at least half an hour oh that and is then... just out <laughs> Oh, I could could share as a teammate. That would be fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> take that. <laughs> um. It looks like Seji has the typical broken K-Wing turret as well, from from my view. Like, I'm sort of... It's, like, right up the top, and it looks like it's missing one of the turrets. Oh, and I like, thought you were calling the K-Wing broken, and I was like, mate, <laughs> oh, dear. Every every single one of my models is like that. Yeah. Just one of them breaks off. Yeah. Yeah, so Garvin's still in that. Actually, Garvin's not in a bad position. He might be able to just do a two-turn up the board and get a shot at Han. But then... Nobody else is capitalizing on that, so. Um, oh, I'm... look, they could. Um, technically, uh, Garvin could do a, a two right turn. Uh, Jake could do a, a one left turn, possibly, and then barrel roll. Um, focus barrel roll, I think. Uh, and then the CG could, um, what, two bank left? And try and focus in on Han. Maybe. Yeah, and Han has um, what, six left. Yeah, so that could could work. Could work if uh, if Jared's like too overcommitted with Han. Um, he could be copying like a cluster missile shot, uh, a crack shot from Jake. Probably not uh, a cluster missile because he doesn't have the lock. Yeah, yeah, true. But the risky thing with Jake as well is if you turn in and barrel roll, could easily Asajj just could to the rock. Yeah, yeah. But that's not a bad idea. Going all in on Han at the moment. 
Yeah, try and go in all on a Han and uh is um is a Sarge damaged? The Sarge has one, one. Just one shield. So you'd need uh, sorry, four. Four more four more damage. The so other thing is followed by four, gain three, three uh sorry, two two on half and then one one dead. That's uh you know in eleven minutes. Probably and not gonna happen, but yeah. Dengar has four I mean it's it's possible, but yep. it's Unless it's the fire siege work. goes goes after Dengar. Um blocks uh blocks Asage and then uh, Jake and Garvin go after Han. Mm. That could be something. Alright, so he's maybe right. looking at Han. Yep. Oh, what Han Han does uh possibly like a one a one forward, two forward. The problem I think is the arc is it's just oh he's come in. Yeah. Yep. You gotta hope Jake's not going into into between those two rocks. Cause more likely than not he's will be uh, attracted. Yeah. So yeah, it's ten minutes left now, and it's probably this turn and maybe another turn, and that will probably be P game. Yeah, and I think this will be the the critical turn that if Jared can do a lot of damage to Michael. It's basically game over. It's yeah. not coming back. I hate being the, uh, this cynical in the game, but <laughs> just with playing the game for so long, it's it, it turns into quite a cynical game, very negative, that you just, it's so unlikely that you're going to come back. From. Yeah. It, it's I, very... I hate thinking that way, but yeah. It's, it's very difficult. Busy. Yeah. I mean, I think we've all seen games where it's happened, but yeah, it's very... Very difficult in this point. Yeah. Because I guess though you look at the points, Han. Um, if he half points Han and doesn't lose any points, they're even. Um, yeah. And then you could possibly get rid of Dengar. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's possible. So I think Jake just barrel rolls as far back as possible. And to the left. So what... Um Michael has to keep all three ships alive, kill Dengar, and then survive to win by one point. Uh, no, if he kills Dengar, it'll be like uh, 30 points above. But um, That's uh, what Kyle was 59 and Dengar's... 60. Um, 60, so one point. Yeah. yeah. But if he halves <laughs> on and kills Dengar... Yeah, yeah sure. Yep. That, that's his... Oh. So Dengar, oh, sorry, Han. Han is how much? Probably like seventy something. Uh, Han is sixty-two as well. Sixty-two. Jeez, not much. That's disgusting. So Sarge is the big bucks. Yeah, uh, seventy-five like points. Seventy-five. Rough. Just have to go after a Sarge, eh? If you're playing against this. Yeah, I think Asajj is the, the key point in this. Yeah. Not just for the points, but especially when you've got small base ships is the one that will hurt. Yeah. The the stress mechanic and the tractor mechanic are just dirty.
I think maybe Han boosts. Yeah, that looks like what Jared's doing. Yep. Because if you boost around, you may not get shot at at all. Yeah, fairly sure the angle would be um, you just cop the the range one from Garvin. I'm not sure what Jake did there. Maybe he tried to boost and it didn't work. I mean, from where he is, if Michael can get another turn and not lose any points, going all in on Han could be the winning choice as well. Yeah. But I would think he's going to give up half points on a Seji. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. So he just... Rather than take the stress, got triple zero. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Asage decided not to stress anyone. Oh, oh. Might even try to track to beam Jake. I don't think there's a point of... Uh, you get rid of the green token, but then... Tokens can still be swapped around, so... Mm. Just going after a siege, yeah. Yeah. You've got, what, seven attack dice going through, so... Alright, so this is... It hit crit into Jake, I think, from Han... One evade. You'll spend the focus, I would think. Yeah. From. So one, that's uh, two, two hits there. Spends the calculate. That's brutal. Oh, there we go. And you just spend a focus. Mm hmm. And then I guess, yeah, you try for that tractor shot. But you need uh, two tractor tokens. Oh, no, onto Jake, sorry, yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Just roll natties and you're fine. Yep. So he can't roll blanks. <laughs> there you go. There and you can go. just spend, yeah. spend the other one. One thing about Michael's list is that it's very resilient if you roll paint. Yeah, so I think Michael shoots with Garvin first and hopes mm -hmm. to transfer that that's focus to Jake. Yep, that's, yeah, that's perfect. Because there's two minutes left, I don't know if they're going to get another round in or not. Range one into Han. Uh, I think one more round, yeah. So you oh. do, you do spend the focus and give it to Jake, yeah. Yeah. So Han takes two. So he's on half. Yeah. Ah, oh, of course. Yeah. So what? Actually, I think at this point, Michael doesn't want 
the next round. Because <laughs> Mark is currently winning, so. Mm. And it fades that as well. So. That's insane. It looks like it looks like there will be another round. Yeah. So it's currently sixty-one points to Michael and fifty-nine points to Jared. Um, Michael's two really close games this evening. Yeah, yeah, really good games. Oh, and then there's still one more shot. I you apologize on... for being so cynical. <laughs> you go into a Sarge. Um, you don't give Dengar that extra shot. Oh, he's gone into Dengar. Oh, he's got the lock on it, I guess. Yeah, spend the lock. Mm. That was not very uh, good. That's not good. <laughs> Ouch. Three. Three hits. Three hits. Oh, two. So two hits go through. Yep. Oh, so close to half points. And I think that should be time. How much time is left on the table? 22 seconds. So oh. another turn. Did Dengar shoot back? No? Yeah. Yeah, Dengar got two. Two damage through. Okay. There we go. So one more turn. So I suppose... Um... Yeah, it's really hard to justify cluster missiles on a siege, isn't it? Um... There was a couple of shots where he... Um... He should have taken it, but um just didn't have the lock or something. Yeah. Yeah. But so Jake is really close to being half. Garvin is really close to being half. All his ships are very close to being half. Um So he needs to He needs to kill either Dengar or Han, I think, because he's going to lose points on one of the ships. Mm. I think Jake is relatively safe. I was actually very unlucky of Jared just not doing that much damage at all. Yeah. Um. Garvin is Galvin's in a, out, so. yeah. Garvin's not in the best place. Feel I guess like, uh, you could maybe Talon leads. roll for a block. Talon roll right. Uh, left into Han's way. Okay. Maybe. Yep. Oh. You don't think that would be off the board? No. No? Nah. You're right. Oh, no, you, no you'll you be fine. Yeah. Um, to be honest, knowing this is the last turn... I would you... probably Talon roll right, I think. Probably be too close to that rock, but... Might, might guarantee a little bit more. But then... Mm, tractor beam. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't really have any good advice for this turn. I, I don't either. I don't know if they both know the points. So, um, yeah. If if they knew that Michael was ahead by two points, 
Michael's best option is just to roll slower. Run. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, Jake five straight or something. Um a Seji just do it too hard the other way and to slam. Yeah, I don't think that's the right move either. Because Asajj is doing a... Side, side, um, side arc. Wow. Oh, bumps. Actually, that's really good for him. Is that actually through the rock? No. No, no it's not. doesn't look like it. Wow. Dengar will still Michael. probably... Dengar might still come in and do the final damage. Uh, do the boost to the right and then hope that it's still an arc yeah unfortunately Jake's not gonna kill Dengar never know two crits and direct hit direct hit uh, and um, all the it has target lock too yeah so, okay, so Garvin. Good, threat, good threats of trying killing Dengar even through the rock. And Garvin, yep. Who cares that he's facing the rock this last turn? Hmm. Mm. As a, it's probably. Maybe a 45% chance of killing Dengar. I just pulled that number out my ass. <laughs> I think it's more like 47.5%. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Average, average between 50 and 45. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just. It depends been, where Han and Dengar go. I've been highly impressed with how Michael's been able to, like, because I thought he absolutely lost this game. Yeah, it's very uh, close. He, his list is resilient. And he actually, like, I'll put a sock in my mouth and say that the running away with the siege was absolutely perfect. Yeah. I think that worked out well. I thought it was I thought it was a turn too late, but it turned out really well. It's yeah. He did have some good dice rolls um with that. But um Yeah. I think this is the point for Michael where he was a little bit too fast and a little bit too slow. Yeah. If he was a little bit slower, he would have ended the round before and won. And if he was faster, it, like if both players were a little bit faster, they would have got one one or two more rounds in. Yeah. And I think that's where Michael wins. Whereas I think looking at Jared's ships, when basically all of Michael's ships just need one damage to be half points, yeah, it's, it's not in Michael's favor. Unless Jared just whiffs out. Uh, could could kill Garvin here. Because, you know, Jared then does Asajj to try to give the stress. Is it I think you just get... Two of the base or in yeah, the firing arc? in the firing arc. Okay, so... But you're still in the firing arc at range zero, so... Oh, yeah. sorry, so, I was thinking going to Garvin. So he's yeah. still, still done... Given the calculate, it's yeah, range one there.
Oh. It's hitting two crits. That's killer. And planks. I oh, don't know yet. No. Uh, yeah, oh, I'll spend it maybe. Because there's some risks of some nasty crit chains. Have to, because uh, half points on a siege. Oh, it's half points anyway. Yeah. Oh, it looks Jared's like it's dis disabled power regulator and loose stabilizer. So none of them matter. Okay. Yeah, so Jared's now in the lead. Looks like he's going to try to finish it. So we've got oh, two hits and a crit. Oy. He's That's... gone anyway, I'm pretty sure. Oh, fair enough. Yep. Yep, that's, that's it. Yeah, so... Um, to win now, he would need to kill Dengar and kill Han. Yeah, no, not possible. No, no, he needs 55 points to lead. Yeah. One turn decided it. Yeah. And he's only got the one shot from Garvin. Oh, it's almost demoralizing losing that way just on time. Yeah. It's just, uh, how many times has that happened to us when we've gone to a tournament? Yeah, it just, it's, it's, it's painful. It but... hurts. Especially, um, especially when, uh, when you're do dominating, you're just about to set up the trap and then the time ends. So, yeah. So I think they're probably just maybe I think at this point you just don't shoot Denga. Um Save the MOV. Yeah. Yeah. Because Garvin's one away from half points as well. Mm-hmm. And there's no real net benefit of trying to kill Dengar without losing half. And I don't think there is any way of... Unless he was to get triple crits and Dengar was to blank out and get some direct hit or fuel leak combo in there. Just, yeah, just wouldn't... It, yeah, it, he would still be 20 points behind, so... Yeah. I'm guessing they have cooled it because mm. they're not rolling any dice. So, uh, thanks for uh, commentating with me today, Tim. Yeah, thanks, Ben. And thanks everyone for watching. We'll probably have some more games either next week or the next fortnight. Um, and yeah, if you do, if you do want to play on stream, just get in touch with us, and we'll set it up but thanks for watching yeah thanks bud